Okay, just a quick follow-up video. Uh, put a bunch of protection parts on it and uh, should be ready to go. So let's see where we start. Got a TPS sensor guard, nice aluminum piece from Bulletproof Designs. It places a plastic, uh, pretty thin plastic deal that comes stock. Uh, another product from the same company, Swing Arm Guard. It uh, essentially connects those tabs from the uh, underside of the swing arm sort of provides some more stability in case of a good hit if those things bust off it's mighty expensive and uh, over here I like this one the most this is a combo rear disc guard and uh, rear caliper guard beautiful beautiful work by these guys looks pretty cool and uh, replace the uh, stock silencer with this FMF turbine core just for the uh, the spark arrestor uh, Just put a fan on call this a dumb fan essentially uh, Mounts up to the radiator then connects to uh, the ECU and there's actually a, a relay that plugs in so uh, no um, Temperature probe into the fins No setting the, the temperature or nothing like that. So just a dumb fan that the computer controls pretty pretty slick installation actually and then skid plate from uh, Emperor Racing, a local company, local out in Chilliwack. Beautiful work. Uh, and they have this, looks like a cutting board for the bottom. It's a, a slip liner, basically a piece of, piece of plastic that's fit to size. Got nice, um, nice uh, countersunk holes for all the hardware. So bolts on there really nice. And uh, oh, this thing too, right, my uh, exhaust flange guard. I tend to be somewhat difficult on my pipes and actually crack the exhaust flange on my other bike so this is a factory guard just uh, bolts up around the, the flange another uh, level of protection and last the hand guards got those mounted up they actually they fit well except they're not not a lot of clearance for the the clickers and the adjustment at the top of the fork so they have another mount that's supposed to be thinner lower profile that I'm trying it's I've really spent quite a bit of time trying to get this to work I really like the mounting mechanism they're nice guards but uh, if you can't access the adjustments there it's a little bit a little bit not so good so we'll see for now I'm just gonna ride it I can I can adjust the clickers but I can't adjust the uh, the spring preload took a while to play around to get it to fit I guess that's the problem with these universal items that are supposed to fit all bikes. So, ready to go. Hopefully the next video is going to be me actually riding this thing.